Sharon Pryor's family has been grieving for nearly 50 years, waiting for answers that have finally come. The solving of Sharon's case will never bring Sharon back. But knowing that her killer is no longer on this earth and cannot kill anymore brings us to somewhat of a closure. Pryor was 16 years old in 1975 when she left her home in Montreal's Point St. Charles neighborhood to meet friends for pizza a few blocks away, but she never arrived. Four days later, her body was found several kilometers away. She'd been badly beaten and sexually assaulted. The resolution of this uh, cold case is uh, based on uh, new investigative techniques, uh, but also uh, advances in forensic biology. Over the decades, police investigated more than 100 persons of interest before DNA technology and commercial genetic genealogy sites helped lead them to the killer. Franklin Romine, originally from West Virginia, lived in Montreal when Pryor was killed. He died in 1982. He started uh, his criminal career at 11 years old. We're talking here about 13 convictions, uh, six or seven prison breaks. With DNA from the crime scene and Romine's brothers, police exhumed Romine's remains despite his family's objections. The DNA they extracted was a match. Scott Magus lived in Sharon's neighborhood and said a lot of people have been waiting for this news. About time. 48 long years. She was a beautiful young lady with a heart of gold. For her family, those 48 years without Sharon have been hard. But you have never left our hearts and you never will. We love you, Sharon, now. May you truly rest in peace. The police force involved in Sharon Pryor's case says it believes it's close to solving other cold cases using the same technology. Alison Northcott, CBC News, Montreal.